Let's take a look at Affinity Publisher Studio Link. So Studio Link allows me to access Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo functionality without having to leave Affinity Publisher itself. So the key advantage is, is that I won't need to launch Designer and Photo independently, make changes, export graphics and re-import them back into Publisher. Instead, I'll be able to use Publisher's personas to seamlessly switch between vector and raster disciplines, uh, making, taking advantage of the different tool sets there. So let's just take this example. We're going to uh, add a multiple uh, stroke to this particular shape. So if I go to design a persona, uh, there are different tools available here which are unique to the uh, designer persona. We've got um, corner tool, vector brush tool, and pencil tool. Incidentally, you need to have Affinity Designer installed to be able to access this persona, and it needs to be of the most recent version. Okay, let's get on and just create uh, uh, some multiple strokes on this uh, particular object. So we'll access the appearance panel, and this is unique also to Designer. And first of all, I want to add a different uh, color to the stroke of this particular object. You see that changing just there. Okay, I'll change the stroke width. I'll change that to six. And I'll also want to now introduce my extra stroke. And I can use that, I can do that by adding add stroke. I'll change this width to two points. And I'll take advantage of some extra um, options on here, and these are blend modes. So I can change the blend mode from normal to arrays. And if I just jump into this particular uh, uh, design, you'll see that uh, we've added the arrays blend mode on this kind of stroke, which sits on top of this one here, which sits on top of the stroke, which has got a, a width of six points. And I quite like that design. You get the idea that you've got multiple strokes, one on top of the other, and uh, one with a smaller width and a, a thicker width below it. Now you can also add, add fills in here. So if I select this fill option, clicked add, I'll get an extra fill, which I could fill if I wanted to, but I'll just undo that. Delete there. So one final thing that I want to do is uh, with this particular stroke selected, I just want to sharpen up this corner. And that's my design as I like it. 